Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about something that I've been experiencing for quite a while but only this week or the last of week, I decided to do something about it which is, I have IBS. IBS is Irritable Bowel Syndrome. In Singapore context, when it comes to food, we got so much of it and I've actually limit myself from eating a lot of them right this instance, which is unfortunate. Um, how my IBS journey, so to speak, came about is the usual symptoms that a lot of you might experience. I Everybody's IBS is different. Mine, as like a brain fog is one thing. You can't think straight after you eat. Uh, you might think that it's natural, but mine was to the extent that I will bloat bloat really hard is my tummy will ache so hard it's you know i was just describing it to my wife is it's something like you know in a fish tank you have the filtration system the bubbles come come out you know just to aerate the, the water and when you eat and then you feel full the aeration the air starts bubbling more and more and more and more and more, and more, and more. yeah it it, it it kind of is for me even the doctor my gp also says that i have an abnormally large amount of gas that's that as that I experience. So, uh, and yes, I should be seeing a specialist, but right now I think I can manage it partly because IBS it's again different for everyone. So and for me, the trigger, the real thing that I got me thinking of it is because when I was drinking beer. Beer, I'm not sure whether is it an allergy to me, but when I drank the beer, the last time I drank it like two years back, I developed rashes, which is kind of odd. Rashes around my wrist, around my ankles, just after drinking it, which is quite scary actually. Uh, should have taken pictures of it. Uh, but then again, I stopped drinking it, so I'm not very sure myself. I've also stopped eating bread. And, and if you're a fellow Singaporean, you know bread shops are everywhere. Like... You know, one dollar bread, roti, it's everywhere. But I've never eaten any of it. Gardenia bread, you know, uh, sunshine bread. Also, I've stopped eating them, which is kind of sad. I do eat them a lot every day. Uh, and I've also stopped eat, eating and drinking caffeine drinks. Caffeine drinks. I've, as you clicked on the thumbnail, you've seen that picture of me. I, I, I. Yes, it's still with me. If you're wondering, I'm going to pull them all out. Yes, this is all I bought. At least my wife bought for me when... Uh, I love... I, I kind of love to drink Red Bull. Uh, because I'm addicted to it. But again, I've stopped drinking them and they're so heavy. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I have to put it down. Uh, yeah, I do tend to drink them like once a day. Maybe even twice a day. So that's why I have so much. But I've stopped drinking those also. That's one thing. Um, coffee, I've stopped. I do eat. I do try and eat some cakes and everything, which is still not so bad. Uh, I do get the occasional flare up, you know. But for the whole of last week, I've stopped doing all those, and I'm feeling okay, better than what I was a few weeks back. So this is week one for me. Uh, I I go along my IBS journey. I will tell you what I've introduced or taken out, you know. And there are a few other things that um, that I want to speak to you all about, but I will keep this video short as with my journey goes along. Thanks everyone for just hearing me out, my rant, my IBS, you know. And if you're experiencing any of these symptoms or you're cutting down, do comment below. IBS is not, it's no joke. And those that experience it, one in five people experience it apparently. So, <sighs> anywho, take care and to the next video, I guess. Bye bye.